So welcome back, Tyler. Fuck this, man. Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something cool. We got Tyler's driveway queen. What year is this, Tyler? 2012, 2012 Audi A5. Today's an easy day. Uh, we're just doing some routine maintenance, hanging out, doing an oil change, filter, getting the headlights out. Look at that, dude. Without Tyler, I'd be lost. But yeah, we're gonna get working on this. Uh, probably work a little bit on the bike in and ready for paint. We're gonna do a little polish. I'm gonna practice some polishing techniques and uh, see if we can get something to shine up and then uh, go from there. But for now, we got this bad girl on ramps. We're gonna get the filter out, get the plug out the bottom, and uh, go from there. But yeah, let's show you how to do an oil change. Well, it'd help if we have oil clamps to get the oil filter off. Yeah, we're gonna try to fight this off without getting his car all dirty. If it was a normal car, I'd put a screwdriver through it. Well, I guess either way it's going to drip oil, so we can put a screwdriver through it. No, these don't drip oil. Oh, really? Oh, then yeah, I don't want to go oil over the car. All right, we're going to get that out, and uh, I guess when you see us next, we'll be taking the plug out the bottom. Real simple, you know? There's a million videos on oil changes. Take your filter off, take your, your filler cap off, pull the plug on the bottom, drink a beer while it drains, come back, put the plug back in and fill her up. But yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll show you all that. Nah, I don't have any beer, but while it drains, we can run to the the gas station. All right, so as you guys just saw, we got the oil filter out. Unfortunately, we didn't have an oil filter wrench and it was kind of a inconvenient location, so we just popped a screwdriver through it and then managed to not get a ton of oil everywhere. We put a, I hit it with some uh, uh, degreaser to thin it and let it drip. So whenever we start the motor and let it warm up next, it's just gonna turn into smoke and evaporate, but we got it off. There's no oil on any sensors or anything, so that's good. Yeah, next step Ty is gonna take the pan off the bottom of the car and uh, we're gonna get to work on draining the oil. Will you work on that? I'm gonna get you a pan. Yeah. Wasn't taking videos. Oof, fresh filters in. Give her a good hand tight. Look guys, these do not need to be crazy torqued down. I'm That's loose. <laughs> Doing this about as tight as you can with your hand, heat does the rest. Expansion and contraction. That's science. Here we know a lot about science and math. Yeah, we graduated we top of our class. Yeah, half of us graduated college. <laughs> and now look where we're at. Working on Audis, right? We made it. Damn it, there's oil already. Here. Is there? Yeah. And get something to put under there if you want, like cardboard. I might need it.
clean. Sometimes you look like Tyler. <laughs> oh well, it's out, it's draining. We're gonna let that sit. All right guys, to wrap up our Audi A5 oil change, we got the drain plug bolt back in, in the pan. And Tyler's got to throw some stuff away. And then we really just gotta fill her up. Some mobile one. And then this car will be good to go. You gonna rotate the tires on it? Yeah, might as well. That's how I do a tire rotation too for you guys. Which is as, as simple as that one sounds. Just move the tires around. So it's 4.9 quarts, so that means five quarts. Yeah, five. <laughs> It's an Audi. That point one will leak out. No, it's gonna burn with it. Going on. About every thousand miles, this thing burns a quart of oil. That's depending on how hard I drive. That's crazy. Yeah, it might be time to get rid of this one. I mean, it's, it's like a normal thing for an A5. So. Yeah. Because there's like a recall because like the piston rings. Some, there's a recall and the oil gets like by them and it burns it. Yeah. Well, we're gonna fill her up. Yeah, right there. No funnel gang. That's how it's done. Not even a drop spill. How high can you go? <laughs> oh, he's almost at a foot, folks. Oh shit, he's getting real risky with it. Remember, guys, he cares about this car. A little bit. You can oh! You can tell by how dirty it is. I, li I like how you didn't even spill it. It just splashed out of it. Typical. That's Audi for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do an oil change, guys. Pretty straightforward. Take your filter off, pull your plugs, drain it, fill it. But yeah. I guess we're gonna, to... trash can. <laughs> we're gonna get to work on the... We're gonna work on the... Alright, guys, so... Audi oil change wrapped up. Now Tyler's gonna go through the fun process of rotating his tires. Well, he does that i'm gonna work on getting this frame and subframe to greased and ready for paint and primer um so i can lay some paint on those and then while that drives i can go to the asian supermarket and get myself some noodles that shit is banging but yeah we're gonna get to work on that stuff give it a quick kind of scuff and wet sand and then we'll hang it up to dry and start laying paint and primer but that's looking pretty good next thing with a paint is this subframe here well one thing we might work on today maybe another day is taking this uh swing arm right here and we're gonna polish that whole thing so it's got like a mirror like finish so that way it really just kind of pops when you see the whole bike and all the colors kind of blend but also separate themselves so yeah, we're gonna get to work on that. I'm gonna finish cleaning this and hanging it and uh, whenever we tune back in, this thing should be hanging from the ceiling and getting ready for paint. We'll check back on you guys in a short bit. All right, folks, Tyler's teaching us a valuable lesson today. Before you jack your car up, what should you always do, Tyler? Break your lug nuts. Yep. But yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, <laughs> break your lug nuts first. But yeah, we're gonna do tire rotation, flip these tires from the front to the backs, and then uh, this car's maintenance will pretty much be done. Then she'll just, we'll have to give her a good bath. Nice little wax too, but that'll be uh, after we wrap these wheels up.
right, guys. So, we got the frame sitting in primer now. Looking good, drying all up. Once that dries, we're gonna lay some coat, some paint and some clear on this one. But for now, just gonna let it sit and dry and uh, work on the subframe. Gonna get the subframe, it's over there. Boom. Drying. And then um, we're getting the swing arm ready, all cleaned up and polished, cause we're gonna take this scotch bright some WD-40 and the mag polish, the aluminum polish, and clean that all up. So that way it, uh, you can see yourself in it and it really pops when, uh, when the bike's all complete. That way it's just clean too. So when we put this thing all back together, we don't have to worry about dirt grime or any of that. It's just gonna be a clean, nice bike build. So Tyler's finishing that up. We're gonna work on that guy. And then we are gonna uh, go grab some Japanese groceries. So yeah, for now, back to work. Come oh, on, dude, you're messing up your white your white paint over there. It starts coming out right before we do it. Oh, look at that gloss. You can see it on the camera good. This stuff's super thin, so I'm just gonna have to do a bunch of white coats. Oh, this Gatorade is delicious. Smacking. Bussin'. I would do like this color. Look just a little more flaky and darker than OEM. Yeah, it's gonna look better than Brandon's bike. Hope you watch this, Brandon. Brandon. Calling you out. Calling you out, Brandon. Thanks for the porch, Brandon. Right there, luckily that was on that side. Right, that should be good for the clip. That's about as much as I can see in this lighting without having to. All right, guys, we got, got the Audi all wrapped up. Sun's starting to go down a little bit. We got the primer laid on the frame. I think today, this is where we're gonna end the video. A little maintenance video. Next time we catch up with you guys, we'll be, uh, I guess really just tearing into the stunt build. We gotta, we'll do the head gasket and finish up the paint on the frame. We won't show all the small bits getting painted because I'm sure there's only so many videos of us painting things you guys wanna see. We also are getting for my dirt bike. Oh yeah, we gotta do the two dirt bike day. So we gotta do some little maintenance stuff on those things and, uh. Eventually, we'll get a headlight bulb for that. That's yeah. Hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. So if uh, anyone knows where to source one of these real cheap, let us know. But other than that, Tyler, say bye. Hasta la vista. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.